Portfolios are dead. And if you want to become a developer in 2023, you have to ditch that portfolio. Otherwise you'll be broke forever. And in this video, I want to show you the alternative to that. An alternative that's gonna help you not only learn the skill and land that first developer job, but it's also gonna help you if you wanna start freelancing because you'll be able to build a product front to back. And also it's gonna help you in case you wanna start your own business and become a tech entrepreneur or something like that, create a product and start monetizing it, okay? Um, I completely changed my strategy and perspective on how things should work. And if you are paying attention to this video, you'll be able to absolutely change the trajectory of your career, okay? This is no bullshit, no good feelings, and let's be happy about it. Programming is a serious skill. Programming is a skill that will pay you a lot of money if you do it right. And programming, it's a skill that is not for the faint of heart. So if you're a pussy, you won't be able to learn it because it's gonna take you a lot of time. It's very difficult. That's why it's paid so well, okay? That's why you'll be able to have the ability to travel from, you know, to any place in the world where you have some internet, you can work from anywhere because programming, it's a difficult skill to learn, but it's not impossible. And it's gonna be more pleasurable if you do it in the right way. And I'm going to show you in this video how to do it, how to get that first developer job without building applications that look like this. Okay, like this is bullshit. Like, let's be honest. What am I proposing to you? I'm proposing to you to create a product front to back. Okay, this is not for you if you're a complete beginner, but it's also a great idea for you to watch it so you know what's going to happen in a few months from now. Okay. Because if you have some sort of goal or trajectory, you'll be able to like follow through. But if you have no idea of where you should be, then it's going to be very difficult to achieve a target that you've never set, right? So the reality of things is that you as a developer, you will be working on products, okay? Uh, SaaS, software as a service, okay? Some sort of application that is helping a business either to make money, save money, or save them time okay or create more opportunities in terms of like time team management stuff like that so this here on the right it's contact bird and it's an application that allows you to message people on twitter and connect with them transform them into leads and then make those people buy something from you so if you're not familiar with these terms of like leads and stuff like that it's very simple so for example you are watching my youtube video and then if you apply for a consultation call with me you're gonna become a lead okay so it's as simple as that you should be familiar with this if you want to be making money okay because people the business that you'll be working for is gonna talk about leads revenue weird uh words like that okay so you have to get used to them so this application is allowing us to message people on Twitter and then potentially make money off of those people. Okay. It's a very simple idea. That's how businesses work. Okay. You have people to sell stuff to and you have a product. Now, what am I proposing is to create an application like contact bird. You know, this is some sort of explanation of how this application works or how would I approach it if I would be a beginner trying to get my first developer job. So I'm looking at, you know, like the USP, which is qualified to the leads in your inbox all on autopilot. Okay, so that's pretty much the problem that we need to solve. We always start from the from the problem, right? Message, find and message leads on LinkedIn. This is the core business problem that is being solved by contact bird. Fair enough, fair enough. So then we will have certain features. So we need to identify what those features are and then we can start building them. You start with building at the end, okay? The first thing is to define what we are actually doing. So we have a landing page, that's the first thing. And then we have the famous login, okay? So user authentication. Authentication. Okay, so now let's log in and let's explore this application. Let me just pause this. 
Great. So my idea is to take this application, understand it, and either replicate it like from scratch or improve it in one way or another. So I could change the design. If I don't like the design, I'm going to ask a designer to recreate this application for me. I'm going to give the screenshots to the designer. The designer would redo it in a certain way. That would be one thing. I could be adding a new feature. The problem with most people is that they come from low level jobs and they have no idea about businesses problems. But if you come from like a sales job or like accounting or something like that, I'm sure there are a bunch of issues with the software that you are currently using. Maybe you are using spreadsheets and whatnot, and then you can find a way to create an application to solve a specific problem or to replace a spreadsheet. So if you do that, you go to designer and then you start to bang out the features, right? So let's see what we have in here. We have the find users feature. So we have a feature to find users. And then we have campaigns. This will be like our major um, features. And then we have CRM. And we also have authentication. They are literally laid out for you here. You don't even need to like think too much. We have a subscription. And FAQ and course, I'm not gonna care too much about that. But if we look here at find users, if we click on this, right? So it lets me choose some of them because I didn't pay for it. But you can pay for this, you know, for a month just to see what's happening in here. And then you are pretty much going to translate what's happening in here into text. So let's say find users. Let's describe this find users. And let's take a list as a user, I can scrape the followers of a Twitter user, right? As a user, I can add a filter to scrape only people with a certain phrase or key word in their bio, right? And so on and so forth. You start describing everything that you're seeing here. This is very important. Now you might be saying, I don't know how to do that. No shit, Sherlock. You have to find out how to do it. But if you don't know what you want to do, then you cannot find it. Do you think you'll know everything from the beginning? It's impossible. Every single job, every single thing that you'll be doing is going to start from scratch. Pretty much. You have a set of skills. Okay. You have a set of skills, but then you need to learn all the time. So then, then for this application, you need to learn how to scrape users. How would you do that? Maybe you need to create a separate application for that, which is going to be some node backend or Python or whatever. So, Things are not as complicated if you like take some time and you literally think about what you actually have to build. So many people jump straight into code and this is like a junior problem and I understand that you might have it. But if you want to be like a pro, you have to think about the business problem first, then the coding. Business problem first, then coding. Problem, coding. Problem, coding. Think about it like that because in the interview, if you are talking about coding and how difficult it was to set up Redux and the team changer, if you do that kind of stuff, you'll absolutely lose the interview. But if you talk about a business problem, how it, how your contribution impacted the business in a certain way, you'll absolutely nail it. And you are creating your own business, your own product here. Okay. And then this product is going to be linked on your resume. You won't have a portfolio like this, right? Can I go back? You won't have a portfolio like this. You know what I mean? Because if you have something like this, you'll be absolutely destroyed in the job market. Yeah, maybe you might have luck, but if we create an application like this, 
you'll have way, way higher chances of making it happen for yourself. And the reason why I'm saying that you should be doing this is because I am doing it. Okay, so I'm biased. But I do believe this is the new way of uh, getting that first developer job. This is the new way of learning code. Also, I'm not going to insult your intelligence telling you that this is going to be easy. Okay, it's going to be extremely challenging. It's going to take at least three months, maybe six months of consistent effort. Maybe you should have a team of developers. That's how I do it in my program. We have a people like, you know, contributing and creating different features in an application. And in this way, you learn how to use Git. You learn how to, you know, uh, communicate, how to estimate your tasks. Because right now, if you are working by yourself and you're using some Git, do you even know how to solve a merge conflict? How could you solve a merge conflict if you've never had another person to work with? Doesn't make any sense, right? Or do you know how it is to be onboarded? How to start an application from scratch? How to read someone else's code? Do you know how to do that? How to do that? No, because you're not working with other people. So if you want to get a developer job, guess what? You need to learn how to work with other people. And to learn how to work with other people, you need other people. You know, it's like, it's like sex. It's better to do it than to watch it, you know, and you actually learn it if you do it, not by watching it, if that makes sense. So some food for thought for you. Uh, this is my approach. It might not be for everyone, but this is definitely gonna help you out more than if you do something like this. Let me show you again, because this is incredible. Some of the stuff I see online and it's not their fault. They don't know any better. Yeah. And this approach is amazing because you can use this application like contact bird your own version of it it's gonna be your experience on your resume okay so we're gonna drop your personal website you're not gonna have any of that that's bullshit uh, no senior developer has a website have you ever noticed that have you ever noticed that the only type of people who have a website are people who don't have jobs so if you have a website, you're not going to have a job, right? Right. Something to think about. Start to challenge every single belief that you have about getting a developer job. Because if you just accept what people tell you, build projects, it's one of them, build a portfolio, that's another one. Uh, post on LinkedIn or on Twitter, your developer journey. That's another one. Or I heard a funny one nowadays. Uh, stay in Discord servers and contribute to open source. That's enough. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I should make a video about that, but that's absolutely crazy. Um, challenge those things that you are hearing. Challenge them and think about them rationally. Does it make sense? Does it really make sense? to do it like that anyway go through this process as i explained it to you here apply it get the results and then let me know how it goes what do you think about this approach will it help you get there faster or you'll get there slower if you build an application from scratch anyway peace out